Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Vicki. What we're going to do today is a little chicken curry over couscous. It's very simple, very quick. We're going to use some pre-bought items here, pre-made items from the grocery store. So let me show you what I got and we'll get right started with this recipe. Okay, these are the ingredients we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using some of this Paddock's Mild Curry Cooking Sauce. Taste of India. It's low fat. It's very good. Uh, we're going to give that a shot. I got some Near East couscous, wild mushroom and herb. I'm going to put that over, uh, put the sauce over it. I got a half a Spanish onion, thinly sliced, julienne. Uh, two scallions, just the green parts, thinly sliced. I got uh, like a quarter of a red pepper, really small diced. One pound of chicken breast, cleaned and cubed. A little kosher salt and some olive oil. That's all the ingredients we're going to need for this. So let me show you how we put this together. Okay, I got my frying pan here, my saute pan, nice and hot. I got my couscous already made. I just brought the water up to a boil. I followed the directions, threw in the couscous, covered it, and let it set for five minutes. That's it. That's how easy it is to make couscous. First of all, we're going to Put a few tablespoons of olive oil in this really hot pan here, and we're gonna just throw our diced chicken right in. A little salt. Sorry it's a little loud, but the way it goes when you cook. I'm not going to stir the chicken until it releases from the pan. So that's going to take a few minutes. Try to stir it too, too quickly in the beginning, it's just going to stick. I'm going to rip all your chicken apart. I got that like that now. I'm going to go ahead and throw in my red peppers and my onion. I'm going to put a little bit more salt. Now, a lot of my recipes, I cook the onions in advance, but this one I'm not going to. I'm going to let it cook right in with the chicken. I'm cooking this on high, so it's going to cool down really quickly. As you can hear, it's cooling down. This recipe takes maybe 10 minutes, I guess, probably top. So if you're in a, you know, a rush and you have these ingredients on hand, it's a super duper dish. I'm going to do all this right in front of you. So... I'm not going to throw the green uh, onions or the scallion uh, in because that's going to be my garnish. Uh, so as you can tell, the pan cooled down quite a bit. If you have a gas stove, it's a lot better, but I don't have a gas stove. I got the electric one here. Just stir this around. So I guess the prep time on this would probably be, uh, you know, five or ten minutes just to cut up the chicken and the onion and pepper. Uh, that's about it. Basically I'm going to stir this around and wilt all this up. I didn't really want to get the peppers and onions uh, browned. That bring out too much of the sweetness in them. And this sauce is a little, it's a little sweet because it's a mild curry, so it's a little... We've got a little fruity flavor uh, to it, I guess, you'd say. You can use a, a more spicy curry. Just, uh, you know, when you buy your curries, uh, sauces, just make sure that they're low fat, because there's some out there that are really, really high in fat. I've seen some up to like 15, 14, 16 grams of fat, you know, per serving, and there's three servings in a jar. 
So, you know, if you're a big eater and you eat a portion and a half, you know, you're getting a lot of fat in the diet. And what we're trying to do is eliminate a lot of that. You know, I'm not one of these cooks that are going to say, hey, you know, eat salads and, uh, you know, raw vegetables all day or, you know, I, I do juice, I like juicing, but, uh, you know, sometimes I like some flavor in my food. And, uh, that's how it goes. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Gonna let that go for a few seconds, and what we're gonna do is put in the curry sauce, get it up to a real good boil. As you can tell, there's a little liquid in here coming out from the onions. That's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, like I said, I wasn't browning this all up. You know, well, what I'm gonna do is when I you know, put in the the uh, pack because mild curry, I'm gonna put this whole jar right in. Here we go. Put it all in. Nice sturdy wooden spatula. It comes in handy. It's got a flat bottom on it. I love it. All right, there we go. That whole jar is right in there. I'll just mix all this right up. Hmm, it's got a nice smell to it. I guess if you wanted a little bit higher curry uh, flavor, a little bit heavier curry flavor, you could actually. Uh, Throw a little curry powder right on top of your chicken there while it's sautéing. So what we're going to do is cover this right up and bring it up to a boil. I might edit this part out because it's going to take like two minutes. So uh, we'll see what it looks like when we come back and I'll let you know how long it's been, okay? Okay, it's been two minutes, and uh, let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's doing nice. I'm going to just give this a stir so it's on high. Still, i to bring it back up to high. I don't want anything to burn on the bottom. You could turn it down a little bit if you wanted to, if you didn't want to you know, rush it out. Let's see, chicken. Chicken's all the way cooked. Okay, so... That's it, real quick. Let's plate this up, okay? Okay, let's plate this dish up. Got my couscous, which only takes five minutes to make. I'm gonna dump it right out on this platter. A little sticky there. That's not gonna make much of a difference. Okay, so we got that. Top it off with those green scallions I had for a little garnish. Just to make it look good, give it a little crunch there. There we go. Chicken curry over couscous. I hope you liked it. Uh, let me know. Give me your feedback. If you got any other recipes, you know, send me an email. And uh, that's it. Thanks for coming uh, to see me cooking with Vicky, and have a great day.